What's poppin' YouTube fam? It's your girl plus Barb and I am back with another video. Today I'm back with a wig review. So as you guys know, I'm about to do a whole new look. I didn't do my makeup. I'm ready. It's Saturday. I'm taking pictures for the gram. Like today about to be lit. Um, I'm super excited for this wig. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and press that notification bell so you can join the gang. You hear you might as well. It's free. Like it's free for y'all to go subscribe. So just go do that right now. Comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this hair. And let's get straight into this video. Okay, so today this video is um this video isn't sponsored my homegirl's hair company she is we we live in the same city well she just moved to dallas so if y'all in dallas y'all go shop with her for real or get your hair done like she's lit she's one of the best stylists in in this city well she's one of the best stylists ever pretty much but um yeah so she has a hair collection line so uh, i bought me a unit from her but yeah this is one of my good friends um her name is jamisha and she owns crown me hair collection um this is what the wig come in i really love this box that was really cute so you open it up and it has her instagram right there but i'm gonna make sure that i link everything down below so you guys will have all the information and stuff like that so make sure you guys click the link in the description and go shop with her follow her on instagram and all that you know what i'm saying all that but this is the box that it came in and then when you open the box it came in this this little silk thing which is really cute. So the packaging is lit, you know, the packaging is lit. And then final, last but not least, the wig. I'm super excited for this wig, like super excited. So I think this is a 22 inch wig. Yes, you guys, I've never did this color before. I'm kind of nervous. But the wig itself is super fire, like super fire. I like her wigs because they're really thick. And she has like one of the best quality wigs that I've worn, honestly. Um, and look at her, look at her lace. Like, get into the laces. The part, look at it. I ain't even put it on yet and the part look lit. So yeah, I'm super nervous about this color. I never did blonde before, so we about to see what it's looking like. But I'm gonna just show you guys the process. Oh, and I didn't mention, all her wigs is custom made. Like she hand makes every single wig, so that is dope as F. And then it comes with a string, a strap, so you can make it tighter. And this is a 16, I mean a 13 by four. So I think I'm gonna do a little side part with some curls, you know, but yeah. So we about to go ahead and install this wig. So y'all stay tuned and watch my process. So as you guys know, you always gonna braid your hair down. Um, if you don't have that much hair, no shade, no disrespect, nothing to you. I'm just telling you how to do it, sis. So. But if you don't have much hair, you can literally do like a low ponytail to install a wig, like a really slick low ponytail. But me personally, I have a lot of hair, so I have to do my braids. So I already did my braids off camera because who wants to sit and watch somebody braid their hair? And my braids is really trash, but it's okay. It don't have to be perfect. You're not gonna see it, so it's whatever. So I'm literally just gonna put this cap on. Oh, my head is huge, y'all. Like my head be too big for these caps. So I'm trying to do like a TikTok video and do a YouTube video. So I don't really know how I'm going to do this between the two, but we're going to try to make it work. So make sure you guys go follow me on TikTok because I'm doing TikTok video as well. So what you're going to do is cut like a hole right here so your ear can stick out. And this is just pretty much going to secure the cap. Because you really want the cap to be down here. You feel me? Like... You really want it to reach down there. So I'm just cutting holes in each side. Oh, I hope I don't mess up my eyebrows. So you're spraying the got to be, you can either use got to be gel or got to be spray. 
I usually use a gel, but my cousin has it at the moment, so. But you're spraying that on your hairline. Don't spray it way down here, like, you know, directly on. Whew. While this is drying, I'm about to go make me something to eat because I'm hungry as hell. So, yeah. So, I'll be back once this dries. You're going to let this dry completely dry, like, completely dry. So, normally at, at this time, um, while this is drying, I would, like, be plucking my wig and bleaching the knots and stuff like this. But since it's a 13, 613 wig, I don't have to bleach it, the knots or anything like this. And, FYI, all her units come pre-plucked. Let me get into it real quick because I didn't really show y'all. All her units come pre-plugged, so look at that. I'm telling y'all, y'all better shop. Look at the lace. Like, the lace is going to match perfect with my skin. And she be plucking a full out of it. To start cutting it off. So, what you're going to do on this part is, look how well that cap blends. Even if you have to pull it up a little bit. So you're going to get close to your hairline as possible. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Do not touch your hair and just cut a, like an inch above your hairline. Okay, you're going to, you guys see where this part is lifting? Now I'm just gonna go in and just cut that off. Just the pieces that are lifting. It should be as close to your hairline as possible. Um, and any straggly should be cut off. So at this time you could use like got to be spray to kind of go through and like, you know, lay those pieces down. So I just spray a little bit on my finger and then I go and press down on it and hold it for a while. Spraying some on my finger and pressing it down. So we can get it real smooth and look exactly like a scalp. And so you're gonna pretty much just kinda put it on your head and kinda get to the layout to see where everything is sitting. Now I'm just going to like push this, push all your hair back. And then this is where you're gonna go in with the glue. And again, I wanted to make this video beginner friendly because a lot of people, you know, they're just not there yet. So it's okay, I got you. Okay, so I'm going in with my bold hold glue. And you're just spreading the glue out all around. Your, your hairline. So please remember, do not put the glue exactly on your hairline. Like it needs to go a little bit be up. It needs to go a little bit above. Use this. Something more of like a flatter surface. So it'll spread it. And so it won't take forever to dry. So now that you did this layer, you are going to wait till this is completely dry. Not completely dry, but you're going to wait till this glue turns clear and then you're going to add another layer and then you're going to wait till that dries and add another layer. It's really just depends on like how, like how long you want your shit to stay. Cause if you want it to stay like weeks, then I would suggest you do three layers of glue. Me personally, I'm only going to do two layers of glue because this week probably going to come out tomorrow. So yeah. Okay, you guys see how it's clearing up? So now I'm gonna go in with another layer. This side is more clear than the other one. And so after this dries, I will be laying the lace because I'm not doing three layers. Because I don't want this to last weeks. This is important because this is where the lace is going to be on your hairline. Hopefully, okay, I have to do it real quick. So I'm using my certified Bella Beauty um, 
it's like what you use to secure your edges and stuff. So I'm just going to. So you need a headband, a scarf, or something to to lay this part down. So this is my dryer. I got it from Amazon. If you guys want the uh, link, comment down below. So I'm gonna probably sit under this for like 20 minutes. Y'all listen, ceramic curling irons are so important. Like you should only use ceramic curling irons on your hair, like, and on wigs. You know, some people curl underwards and I feel like the best curls is outwards. Especially for the look that I'm going for. This is what it looks like curled. I'm not gonna brush my curls out until I'm done with this. So let's just see what this is looking like. So I'm pushing those back so just so I can kind of see how the, I like to cut mine in threes, which is down the middle and down the side and then down this side. So if you work in three different sections, it's so much easier, especially if you're a beginner. Never cut your lace straight across. Like you always wanna go like this, like zigzag. Cause when you cut it straight across, it needs to be like a messy cut, if that makes sense. Cause when you cut it straight across, it gives a wiggy look. And sis, we don't want that wiggy look, so. Okay, so that, this part on the side, you're just going to like cut, cause sometimes your lace will go down here and you need to cut it to shape your ear. So you're just gonna cut it following your ear. See how I have all this extra lace left right here? So I am going to, so I'm going to part it this way, part it upwards. And then you would cut this off. But me, I'm not gonna cut that much off because I'm just, I don't know, I hate cutting lace. That's behind my ear. I always feel like I'm gonna mess up. See, look. So it should lay just like this. Like you should be able to put it behind your ear and stuff like that. It should lay perfectly. I don't know if you guys can really see. If you can't, I'm gonna zoom in. So there is like little pieces like this that are still lifting up. So what I'm going to do in right here is put a little gel on my hand, not gel, glue. Then I'm gonna take this pointy end of the, um, the tooth comb or like just anything pointy, like really sharp and pointy so it'll fit under the lace to put the gel. So I'm just gonna dab this a little bit on here and just kind of lift that up and put some of that glue under there. This is just to really make sure your, shit, your stuff is melted. Because you want your legs to be melted. And then you're going to use the, the comb part to press it down and melt it into the skin. Woo, look at that. I'm going to pull the pieces out that I want baby hairs at. I think where a lot of people mess up at is they do a lot of baby hairs and you really only need literally, y'all see how thin that is. Like that's really all you need to do baby hairs. And I am going to use Gorilla Glue. I feel like baby hairs are so hard for beginners. Like that is the hardest part of a wig install to me. Okay, I'm gonna just do fingers. Yeah, I'm gonna do the fingers. Okay, you guys, so this is the finishing look. And I really, really, really hope you guys love this hair. It's gonna take a while to get used to. I, I do this every time I get a new wig. 
Um, I have to get used to it. I have to take some pictures, but okay, like this is fire. But I really, really love this wig though, honestly. Like, look how bomb it laid so easily and effortlessly. And all her wigs come like this. Like, you don't have to do much at all. I really love it, honestly. Like, I really love it. The curls are holding on so well. I'm gonna go take some pictures for Instagram. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I gave you guys some really good tips on how to install a lace front wig for a beginner. The quality matters, you guys. Like you can't, like if you're not trying to put too much work into installing the wig, like if you're a beginner and you don't really know how to install a wig, it's best to get wigs from companies that already come pretty fucking good. Like, like this company, like it's best to get wigs from companies that already come plucked, ready, you know, like, cause you don't have to do much. So if you're a beginner, that's what I really recommend. But um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram, TikTok, um, all that. And give me a thumbs up on this video if you like this video. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think about my hair, this new color on me. So yeah, make sure you guys go follow her on Instagram and go shop and support her business. She is a black owned business. So I love you guys and I'm out. Peace.